I just got out of class and let me tell you, I raced home because this was delivered today, my brand new Galaxy Z Flip that by the way, wasn't sent to me as a review unit. I bought this out of pocket, 1462, including taxes. Samsung sadly doesn't know who I am. Hopefully they will though at some point, but regardless, I'm super excited to take this bad boy on a test drive and unbox it here today. But before we continue with that, I would really appreciate it if you'd leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions as the YouTube algorithm them likes that and will help push my content to more people. So let's crack this box open. I am super excited to see how this phone feels like in hand. I have had the Galaxy Fold since Christmas time, but of course, this is an entirely different form factor, a flip phone form factor. So let's get the stickers off the bottom of the box. And let's just take a moment to appreciate the packaging here. I slid this out a second ago, but I wanted to show you, as you can see here, the L and the I um, fill in the middle of the Z here. So that's super cool. Um, so let's pull this off. Okay, so it's just like a regular unboxing. Let's pull the top of the box off. And um, we're greeted with paper, cool. And now we are greeted with the front of the phone, similar to that of the Galaxy Fold when I unboxed it, if I remember correctly. And immediately it says, careful instruction. Do not press the screen or the front camera lens with a hard or sharp object. This was very much demonstrated in Jerry Rig Everything's video. So I will definitely not be taking this screen for granted. I won't be acting like it's, you know, real glass. Um, do not attach adhesives or films to the screen. Your device contains magnets. So very similar to the Galaxy Fold. And here is the back and I'm already loving this purple color. I'm gonna get the boxes out of the way really quick here as we pull off the plastic. But I will quickly show you what's in the box beyond just the phone. You have Galaxy Z Premier service, just like you got with the Fold. So they will, you know, give you some special treatment if you buy this phone. It is very expensive and sort of specialty, so that makes sense. You get a quick charger in the box here. Um, you also get AKG headphones, which I'm not going to pull out here. You also get a USB Type a to USB type C adapter here with your phone, pretty typical with Samsung devices, and of course, on um, a black colored power cable. And excuse me, but I forgot about a portion of the box here in the top lid. If we pull this out, we get a SIM card eject tool and um, some paperwork as well. And I do believe this phone comes with a case um, provided by Samsung here, and it does. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. I was like, huh, that's weird. Maybe that was just included with the review units, but yes, you do get your very own case with this device, which does match it. And you know what? It looks damn good. It's clear, it allows you to show off the color. And I'm definitely gonna put this on when I use this in the real world, because I don't want to drop this and of course, you know, damage the glass. I don't know how expensive it is to fix, but still, I'm really happy that Samsung included a case just like they did with the Galaxy Fold. So with this out of the way, let's now pay attention to the main attraction here, this phone. Let's pull the plastic off. And there it is, it's off. And yeah, this thing is shiny. Look at this, look at how it shines. It's like a mirror, way more so than my black fold. Maybe the other colors were more, you know, luminescent or whatever, but this is just quite the spectacle. And I think Samsung wants this phone to be noticed. And if you have this, you wanna be noticed with it as well, I guess here. Let's um, do a quick fold test. And that is very smooth. I would even say smoother than that of the Motorola Razr. Um, it's not making any creaking sounds as far as I'm concerned. Nope. It's very quiet and I'm already liking the form factor here. This is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, so it's not too much taller. It's just more narrow, I guess. And I do believe this has like a 21 and a half or a 21.9 by nine aspect ratio, 22 by nine, I don't know. But with that said, let's actually power this device on. Galaxy Z Flip secured by Knox. Oh, and one of the advertised features sort of of this phone is the ability to fold it and have it stay wherever you left it so you can use it. I think people were calling it like the DS phone, but still that's cool. And this is not something you can do with the fold or the Motorola Razr. I actually bought an unlocked version. So I'm going to go ahead and put my Verizon SIM into here really quick before we continue with setup. And the SIM card tray is on the side here. Unlike the Motorola Razr, which is of course just a Verizon exclusive, which was pretty annoying because you had to actually call Verizon to transfer a physical SIM to an eSIM within the device. So here we go. It's as simple as plugging in your SIM card and you can use this phone with pretty much any carrier, thankfully. While this is rebooting here because of my SIM, it feels really solid, much more like a complete device in comparison to the Fold and the uh, Motorola Razr, I have to say. And the screen, it feels a lot better. I don't know if it's more durable, 
but the you know hybrid glass and plastic does feel nice and I like that I still wish there was more durability the lack thereof demonstrated by Jerry as I mentioned yeah so far I gotta say I really do enjoy this purple color it looks dope I'm really happy that I went with it over the black this is a very exciting and very beautiful color I have to say all right so I'm gonna scan my fingerprint on the side sensor which appears to be very quick and a nice size too I think a little bit bigger than that of the fold maybe the same size I don't know but it's conveniently placed and very quick from what I can tell so here we are on the home screen of this device and yeah it's definitely a Samsung phone just you know a bit taller and more narrow and uh, I got to say this feels really solid in the hand less like a concept like the Galaxy Fold does or the uh, Motorola Razr especially it feels really sturdy and I'm already liking that the first thing that I want to test out is the camera here and um, I say that because when you fold it it you know allocates the top half of the screen for the viewer and the bottom half for your controls which I really enjoy that's super cool let me see if I can angle this up so you can see what's going on um, let me turn the camera around here so you can see uh, just a horrible angle of me like I always get here so yeah this is really cool I like this concept this is making use of the folding aspect of this phone so if you wanted to do some streaming or if you wanted to do some video chatting or I don't know just something that involved the front facing camera you can do so and have your phone stand up by itself which is really cool um so I can take a selfie here so yeah, I think this is a great use of the folding tech here with this phone. So let's fold it back and it immediately goes back to being a normal smartphone. Let's go back home. The next thing that I wanna look at is this tiny display on the front here, which is supposed to display time and such. And, and I know a little viewfinder if you wanna use the front facing camera. Yep, here we go. That's so funny. So as you can see here, you can see my camera pointing right here. You can see my hand waving across. This is a very small display, which um, sort of serves a similar purpose to that of what's on the Razer, except you can't really see full size notes notifications however you can see um you know the time right here as you can see let me see if i can swipe through um i can access maybe settings oh that's interesting so it's just showing me very basic icons of my notifications um and then of course the battery the time the date and then of course you can have a little viewfinder for the back facing cameras here which i'm really excited to test out and also it makes very little noise when you unfold it and fold it which is something i did not like on the razor and something that kind of bugs me on my fold but this is very much silent so far and i think part of the reason is is there's little brushes on the inside of the hinge here which are supposed to help get rid of dust and um, i don't know they probably refined the hinge mechanism on here to begin with so bravo samsung this is a very smooth and a very secure feeling foldable and typing on this device not gonna lie it is a little bit more cramped i think this phone is more narrow than most but still it's totally usable and i'm not having a big deal doing it and of course you can do swipe and voice search as well but let's do a quick speaker test i want to see just how good music sounds on this device and let's go with something non-copyrighted of course <laughs> So it appears we have a single bottom firing speaker, which sounds good enough. Obviously, you're not going to get the best audio quality without, you know, stereo drivers, but still, it sounds decent enough. I still have to do a lot more testing with this device, but so far it sounds pretty decent and I'm not, you know, disappointed, especially after paying as much as I did for this phone. Let's quickly put the back facing cameras to the test here. So let's take a picture of the Galaxy Buds Plus that I have right in front of me here. I'm going to hold this like a regular smartphone. First, we'll do a 1X photo, so and then we'll do an ultra wide photo as well let's take a look here so zooming into the ultra wide it looks okay a little bit blurry maybe that's because i didn't tap to focus but whatever then we have the one x which looks excellent by the way it looks like that of a samsung flagship i don't know if it's on par exactly with the s20 or the s10 i'll probably have to do a comparison um but still these look like really nice photos what you should expect from a 1400 dollars device here so yeah this has been my unboxing and first impressions with the galaxy fold i am very excited to have this in my pocket it feels like a very complete device more refined than that of once again the motorola razor and the galaxy fold here although it has the same specs as the Galaxy Fold. It feels really smooth. And also I will remind you that the display material, though it is not as durable as Jerry Rig Everything demonstrated, it feels a lot better. It feels less like plastic and closer to that of a glass display, although it's not quite. But I do enjoy that aspect. I just wish Samsung would say like, hey, it has glass mixed in with it, but don't treat it like that because it will scratch at a level two.
And that about wraps things up here. I hope this video was fun. I really am liking this device. It's funny, I was so hyped for the Razer. I spent time and money on that thing. And when I unboxed it, it was like cool, you know, but it just didn't feel quite complete. This thing is slick. And honestly, I don't know at this point if I'm going to keep it for the long term, but damn, it is quite the product. And I'm very excited to cover it this week and the next. I would really appreciate it once again if you leave a like on this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or opinions, and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah, and I will catch you all in the next one.